Hi, this is Michael from Southern Fire Guitars, and in this video, I'm going to show you how I make homemade fret dots for my fretboards. So stick around. Now these fancy little fret marker dots right here, you can buy these things online, but I don't like to buy anything I can make. So follow me to the workbench. Hey, you're too close. Six feet. This is the neck I'm going to be working with today. This is an oak neck. It has a walnut fretboard. And I want to make homemade fret markers on this fretboard. And I'm going to show you how I do it. Now this neck is on a 23 inch scale. Not that that matters. But the width of the neck is an inch and a half from here to here. So what I'm going to do first, and since my dots are going to start on the third fret, I'm going to measure, I'm going to mark the middle of the fretboard, which will be three quarters of an inch right there. Then I'm going to go down to this end over here and mark three quarters of an inch right there. Then I'm going to take my straight edge and I'm going to draw a very light line here down the center. Now you can also tape your fretboard off too if you don't want to mark on the fretboard itself. On here I'm going to put your basic uh, dot markers. I'm going to put one on the 3, 5, 7, 9, 12, and then 15. Now that I have my line down the center, I'm going to take my ruler from fret line to fret line. I'm not going to go all the way across because I just need the intersect where both lines intersect to get the middle. So I'm going to put one there. And one there. And there's my center. Right there. Okay, there's three. I'm going to go five. And you want to always double check these to make sure you have the X's in the right place before you start drilling holes in your in your fretboard. So I got one three, five, seven, nine. Now on the twelfth fret, you can see where the line goes down the center of the fretboard. On the twelfth fret, I'm going to do two small ones. Make sure I'm on twelve. I'm going to draw a little box our line in this little box and one little X in this little box below because on the 12th fret I'm going to have two dots here and here and then one more on 15 And there we go. Three, five, seven, nine, twelfth fret, and fifteenth fret. That's all I'm going to do on this one. So now that I have my little X's here for each one of my dot markers, I'm going to take this all and I'm going to poke a hole right in the center of all the X's as a pilot hole for my drill bit. My little pilot holes are all there. Now it's ready to drill. You can make these dot markers whatever size you like. I'm going to be doing them in this size right here, which is 5 sixteenths. I'm going to go set up the drill press so we can drill some holes. I did have my drill press mounted on my work table in my shop there. But because when you use it, it makes so much mess, I had to make a separate little stand for it. It's got wheels on it. Awesome. And I could wheel it out here to make my mess. <laughs> like I said, these dot markers are going to be 5 sixteenths. I have my Forstner 5 sixteenths bit right here. And I have the depth set about an eighth of an inch 
past the fretboard and I'm going to cut the holes. Well, I'm going to plug it in first, I guess. <laughs> yeah, these power tools, they're really picky about that electricity, aren't they? All right, let's go. Here we go. Try to get right in the center. One. And because of the, the heel here, I've added another little board here to rest the neck on so it'll stay flat as I drill these holes in here. And there we go. Awesome. Now I'm going to use my 5 16 plug cutter. This is what it looks like. Fits in your drill press or your hand drill. It's got this little point sticking out here and it's actually on a spring so it keeps it straight as you go to cut your little plug out. Let's cut some plugs. Okay, I do have the plug bit in the drill press. And I've got the depth set to go just right there, just where the end of the blade stops. Now what's fun about this is you can grab any kind of scrap piece of hardwood you have or any, any type of wood you want to use actually to cut plugs out. Now since I'm putting this in a walnut fretboard, which is dark, I got this piece of wood here. It's a hardwood. This is off of an old tabletop I've got laying over there. I think it's birch. So I'm going to cut some plugs. I'm going to have to hurry because it's starting to sprinkle out here. And this is how you do it. There's one. Now I need seven. There's eight, one for good measure. This birch wood makes really nice fret dot markers. As you can see, I've used it before. Now, let's get the plugs out. After you cut the little plugs out, it's gonna look like this. You take a little screwdriver, in this case, it's a little, little chisel, and just pop them out. Now, I don't know if you could tell this or not, but when you look at one of these plugs, it's bigger on one end than the other. The end with the little hole in it is where your drill, your little drill pin hit when you drilled it down this way. So this end is smaller. So when you put these in, the hole goes in first because that's the smaller end, just like that. And we're going to take a little glue. like this and it's going to be a very tight fit and you're just going to tap it in that's it and I will do the rest and I'll show you what I got when I get done I live in Florida which is known as the sunshine state and when it rains in Florida, us Floridians call it liquid sunshine, which makes no sense. I have glued all the plugs into the holes right there. Now I'm going to cut them off with my little saw here. And when I do that, I'm not going to go, I'm not going to try to cut it flush against the top of the fretboard because if I do, I'm going to be dragging these teeth along the top of my fretboard and I could leave some uh, scuffs and marks in there. So I'm going to kind of angle my knife a little bit up like this. Not knife, my saw. Excuse me. My, my saw just a little bit up like that and cut these off and I'll sand it down the rest with the belt sander. How fun is that? <laughs> I've got
got all the plugs cut down to there with no scuffage. Now let's take it to the sander. Well, here's what it looks like off the belt sander. Looks really nice. I'm just going to finish it up with some really fine sandpaper. Get it nice and smooth. And it will be good. You can get pretty creative with your fret dots for your cigar box guitars. Look at this one I done recently. This was an oak fretboard, so I needed darker uh, dots for the fretboard. So I took one of these, which is those things, those little blocks you sometimes get in your cigar boxes, and made inlays. Beautiful. This channel is all about cigar box guitars. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell notification. And remember, I don't smoke them. I just like to play with the box. My name's Michael and I'll see you in the next one. Oh yeah, cue the music. Oh.